Hi everyone, this is Joanna. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Today's project is just so fun. If the design looks familiar, it's because I have used the tool in the past. And the colors, I thought the colors kind of fit in the mood that we have going on right now. You know, fall colors, you know, brownish, reddish, gold. I, I love those color combinations. So with that being said, let me show you how I made this. And today I am going to be using gold, bronze and silver from Sculpey and I'm going to create Skinner Blend. Or as always, I will do my best to attempt to make Skinner Blend. And now that I have that uh, done, I'm just going to turn it into an accordion file. And uh, it takes a little bit of time. You have to, you can also roll it up for a different kind of effect, but I'm just going to accordion style all the way until all the clay is used up. And you can see that I'm a little bit of, a little bit crooked. My ends are really not that straight but that's okay you'll see the the pendants are going to be nice regardless so now i'm just going to uh, create a clay cube i want to make sure that the air bubbles are gone from in between the different layers that we just created and i'm going to take a slice to evaluate the situation and i'm going to use that slice it's not going to be a thin slice it's actually a decent thickness slice you can see here that i'm not just taking little slivers of it I actually took a decent size of um, that and you can see that I do have some little pieces or like little places with the air still so I just want to make sure that I get rid of that now flatten it just a little bit you can roll it out as well a little bit but you don't want it too thin for what we are going to be doing with it. And yes, yeah, start screaming, what are you doing cutting with the sharp end towards your hand? I know, I know, it looks so dramatic when I do that. <laughs> so now here's my lace mold, which you can get at Michael's and if you get the 40% off coupon, it's an amazing deal. I have used it in the past with my liquid clay, but this is the first time that I'm using regular clay on it. So I'm grabbing one slice and then I'm going to grab another one and I'm going to face uh, silver on both of them towards each other. And you want to press, you want to press, 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 make sure that it gets, that the clay gets into all the tiny nooks and, nooks and crannies. And that was for my one pendant. For the other one, I'm just tearing the clay into tiny pieces it's going to add uh, the second pendant a little bit different different design now I didn't do a trial run so this is really my trial run I have not tried this uh, technique with regular clay uh, just yet on this lay so I'm hoping that it's going to work <laughs> <laughs> so now let's get started with shaving and we're going to take our uh, tool and cut off as much as you can without just uh, cut, cut off the excess of clay but without destroying your uh, resin mold and look at that I sliced it and what a surprise mica shift in the shape of the lace that was so amazing I am for sure keeping all these pieces and I'm going to use it in my pendant next week so make sure to watch it but Having said that, you need to make sure that you shave off all the pieces that are sticking above the mold. So you basically just want to have clay inside the mold, okay? If you're going to leave any excess of clay, your design is just not going to work very well. So there you have it. I did it for both pendants. I also rolled out black clay on the thickest setting of the pasta machine I'm putting the lace on top of it give it a nice roll and at this point I'm like okay well let's see I knew that it worked for other people and it looked really awesome and easy so let's see if this mold works well for me and it was amazing it came out so easy and the detail that stayed on the clay was amazing 
it was seriously so amazing i was just astonished i think i just spent like 10 minutes just staring at it look at those little lines that got transferred and how clean they look and that's because i took time shaving off that excess clay so now the time is just to grab a cutter and cut out the design that you want square is definitely not my favorite shape of pendant but since i haven't done that uh, um, in a in a while i decided that i was going to go with it but uh, what a beautiful design i mean just find the, the spot with your cutter that you think that it's going to create the most beautiful pendant now i was trying to get rid of those sharp edges and i really should have done a better job uh, while the clay was soft but i didn't so i threw it in the oven and i baked it baked it for half an hour at 270 degrees and there they are already cooled off and baked and um they're nice and hard and i'm still trying to get rid of those sharp edges but i don't want to take off too much and i'm not quite sure why i'm using this big block <laughs> sanding block usually I just use sanding paper so and now after that I dried it and I applied resin and boy oh boy those colors I tell you metallic colors and resin are amazing those edges over there they need a little bit more resin so I'm going to have to add another layer of resin but that's okay look how beautiful this all came out it was a, such a simple project with so many possibilities but i think these colors are just fabulous fabulous for this time of the year well my friends i really do hope you enjoyed it please make sure to leave comments let me know what you think about it if you guys have that lace mold and if you have used it in any other way well with that being said till next time my friends ta-ta